What's up everyone, I just wanted to share a fix to disable volumetric fog completely and get a performance boost as well as get rid of haze and the flickering glow effect around lights at night time that is really annoying for, for some of us. And yeah, it, it does change the look of the game a bit and if you're like obsessed with the artistic art style direction, this is not the video for you. This is simply to help people turn a setting on and off uh, through config edit and I'll also show a comparison after showing you how to do it. So basically you go to the game folder, engine, config, platform, PC, and there's a rendering.any file that you can add the, the lines to disable volumetric fog. Uh, by default it looks like it looked like this for me with just decals high distance and I entered this extra bit here. Uh, I'd like to thank Timothy MacWine for, for sharing the line that helped me find a bigger post that had more settings that I could play with. Um, but I did not test all of these. I've only tested the distant fog and distant volumetric fog settings as well as volumetric fog, which is the one that actually works. Uh, the other settings such as, which me and Tim both figured out doesn't do anything, uh, experimental volumetric fog changes the type of fog in the game. There's like an experimental version that affects streetlights. And if you turn this on true, it will actually enable this weird fog that looks slightly less blocky, but also isn't implemented properly. So basically you'll get floating fog, fog lights around the game. So aside from that, it's just this setting here that I've tested and I've got screenshots for, and you just create uh, edit the rendering.ini file in notepad and I just added these extra ones because I really don't like Bloom, which is an effect in the game that makes certain scenes get really, really bright. I'm not 100% sure if this setting works because the 1.5, uh, 1.05 patch that they released today might have already fixed Bloom, but I just turned it on false anyway just to make sure that it, if it does work, it's going to get rid of it. And then screen space heat haze, I think, might be related to screen space reflections and the graininess that moves around on some surfaces. And I'm testing this at the moment. I don't know if it actually works and gets rid of that grain, like it helps with the grain movement, um, but it might. So yeah, there's that too. But you just add this volumetric fog line in and save it and relaunch your game and your, fogs will, your fog will be off. So that's how you do it. Uh, I'll include this link so you can take a look at all these settings if you want to test some of them yourself or try them out. But the main one that I'm, I'm demonstrating today is volumetric fog false. And... I'll get into that now. So, you know, you save that, start your game. Make sure your game's off when you do this, by the way. So after you've done that, start your game up, and it will look like this with fog off. So basically, this is fog default. The lowest you can go is low. And you can see the haze produced in the background. It does not affect the plumes of smoke coming from chimneys or um, sewers. It doesn't affect manhole fog. It's really just a volumetric effect that causes the haze that also hits your performance fairly hard. So you can even see going up to ultra from low doesn't change the look at all, um, but there's a significant performance drop of 10 FPS at this scene. While with off, you're actually gaining a couple FPS too, but the clarity is much better. And I know there's players that don't mind the fog. They feel it looks more realistic, but for me, uh, I like the clarity better. And I know that uh, when you're looking at a city from a distance in real life, there are days when there will be haze and days where there won't be haze. But the haze is usually less than the clarity. So I can still see like some slight, you know, distance type of fog effect just from the way the textures look. And that's enough for me. I don't need haze to add on top of that. And I'd rather have all the performance I can get considering the streetlight difference at nighttime. So that's that. And, you know, here's a comparison. You can see that the coloring looks better, like way better. Just because of the way it makes the overall image look when you disable volumetric fog. And yeah, there's the performance hits. And now here's the huge difference. At nighttime, you don't get any more flickering glow effect around the lights. And before anyone argues, because I know there might be a few people that will comment, say, completely ruins the look of nighttime or immersion or whatever. This is uh, what real life nighttime lights look like. Okay, there's only a faint cone, if any, in the rain. And rain is what will actually make it appear the most. If it's not raining, you won't even get an effect. Uh, you might get a glow of the light, but they can implement that without volumetric fog. They don't need volumetric fog specifically. Uh, they can use light cones, light shafts. Um, if you already know about those light beams. There are different lighting effects they can use to produce an effect of the light casting 
you know, down. But just to be clear, especially in a lit up area, uh, ambient light at nighttime in real life, you won't even get a glow from some lights, a cone, any cone at all. And this was in slightly rainy weather. So before anyone argues about realism and immersion, I just wanted to get straighten that out. Um, that's what real life can look like. It can look like there's no light shot, like light cone protruding or lack of volumetrics. Okay, it does not glow like in a big 360 circle or in a rectangle. So that out of the way, back to these pictures. This is off. Uh, one other big difference apart from the clarity of the buildings in the background at night, uh, you can see this is taken 1132, is clouds will gain a lot of detail. You'll actually be able to see clouds from the glow of the city in the night sky, uh, especially rain clouds. Uh, you'll actually be able to make out the detail while if you have volumetric fog on, clouds look really, really, really faint. Uh, you can barely make them out at night and you, you often, most of the time you won't see them. They'll never look dark like this. You'll never get this kind of nice weather at nighttime. So this is what night looks like. And I fast forwarded 24 hours, multiple, multiple times. I did it about seven times uh, to try to get clouds to appear above the city the way that it does on volumetric fog off. And I think they are appearing because I was able to see some if I looked directly above me in this photo, but they were really faint. Like, you, you could barely make them out because I think the type of cloud used or the volumetric affects it somehow. Like it just covers up the clouds or something. So yeah, I tried and I also tried getting rain to appear and rain is a whole can of worms uh, that I'll get into after. So as you can see here, fog off, street light, still produces light, just doesn't have the glowing. Uh, low which or medium, which are the performance options a lot of optimization sites will recommend, will give you flickering. Uh, it'll look even worse when you're driving. And as you can see, it's like rectangles, uh, even protruding above the direction of the light where it should be cast. So it's almost like if they attach these light beams, I don't know how they implement them into like using the game engine or what is there, you know, um, editing the game, creating the game. I don't know if they attach these to a certain spot on the object, but the way that these are positioned is just so bad. Like maybe they can't position them lower, but if they had, it would have actually matched the light a lot better. So hopefully they optimize that or they change it. Uh, I wish they would change it because off can actually have light beams being cast. Uh, in another screenshot, I'll show you this. You can actually have cones of light without volumetrics on. It's just it only shows up in some screenshots. Now I'll just show you here. Medium high is a little bit better, but movement is still horrible. And ultra also looks bad for, for street lights in particular, this, this weird flickering effect. And as you can see, the, the haziness and the clarity of the city is destroyed by volumetric, while with it off, you can see the city much better. It looks more like nighttime to me, um, in a way. Well, this just looks really, really foggy, like there's a constant fog at night whenever you, yeah, with it on. So, I mean, you, you, personal preference, though, I'm not telling everyone that my, what I think looks good is what you should think look good, looks good. If you think this looks better, um, and the fog looks better, then by all means use it. Um, but you can get a performance boost, or if you're running a low-end system, a 1050 Ti or something, obviously the setting's going to help because it boosts performance on my RX 5700, uh, which is even even higher than a 1050 Ti. So had a look at that. We've seen the fog difference and the performance difference. Even just between medium 65. Uh, actually, at nighttime there was a slight performance hit actually to have fog off. But it, it can also be affected just by having like a pedestrian walking by on the screenshot. So for the most part, like at daytime especially, the performance was gained, not hit. It was opposite. So even with NPCs here, it was higher. But neg negligible, I should say. If you're running like decent FPS to begin with and you just want to get rid of the fog, no problems there. Uh, and even when you turn volumetric fog up on a mid-range system and you drive at 50 FPS for a 60 FPS, it's still drivable. It's really only under 40 when you're dipping into the 30s and 20s that you start to really feel the input lag. So yeah, just in, in a, from a performance standpoint, it's not that big a deal unless you're really borderline 30 FPS in the first place. Um, and just for the, the, the haze effect, that's the, that's the main thing for, for medium spec users, mid-range users. So now I'm going to get into the rain. Now this is a, this is a, I don't know what to make of this. Like, it's like, it's just an overlooked part that not many uh, sites have picked up on or they haven't noticed it yet. Maybe players have noticed it, but they just haven't said anything. Cause you know, unless you're a YouTuber or something, you're not going to automatically share every little thing you find. 
but this is volumetric fog off in the rain. You can see the city. You can see the rain. Uh, it's still decent. You know, it doesn't look bad, but there's a lot more clarity to the image than with fog on. When fog's on, you can, like, hardly see, and it's always the same. Like, you always get, like, this annoying haze that you can't see. And there's another effect that is caused in the rain, specifically raining at night time, that happens only with volumetric fog turned on. And that is, so you can already see the loss of vision. It's like it's a, it's like it's a category for, you know, typhoon, thunderstorm. But not only that, but you can see the, the rectangular lights. Okay, on low. And on medium, it's not much better. Okay, and I had screen space turned uh, on high for all of these. So I didn't want, like, anyone arguing about screen space reflections and fog interaction. So I left them on. If you turn them off for performance, then obviously it might look a bit more... Uh, uh, you might lose some reflection. You'll lose screen space reflections from certain angles, but you'll still retain a few uh, shadow reflections and puddles and stuff. So it's a personal preference too. But stark difference on visibility. And it's like, I don't know if losing the beams is a, a bad trade off to having rectangle beams, uh, rectangle volumetrics, whatever. But now I'm going to get onto the weird thing is on ultra or on anything past low, it, it the sky lights up like aurora borealis, uh, especially at nighttime in the rain. It didn't, doesn't happen in clear weather, specifically raining. You get this weird effect, and I was able to reproduce it. I fast forwarded 24 hours at a time trying to get the effect to go away, and it would come back every time. And it's 360, not even where the city is. So I can understand if there was like a light effect by the rain maybe from the glow of the city, possibly causing it. But when I looked other directions, it was the same. So it's not that. Um, and so you can see here, off, clarity, light rain, heavy rain with fog. And the, the rain was actually, vi visually, when I was looking at it falling, it looked the same uh, in, in off and low. It's just the haze would make it look seem heavier in a still screenshot. But it was about the same heaviness. And you can just see on Ultra this aurora, it's just horrible like it makes the sky look crap for one you can't see the city you can't see the leds or anything you can't you, you just lose sight of the city but more importantly um you're also taking an fps hit for this effect you're taking like almost a 10 fps hit in the rain so and yeah you can see that the ultra still does not fix the lights completely the distance lights uh, can still have these weird dotted effects on them that flicker and from another angle off low, medium, and, you know, I just labeled these Aurora. <laughs> uh, so low Aurora that you can see here, these light beams, medium, and maybe that's why not many people have noticed it because optimization guides say to use lower medium, or usually medium, um, as a compromise setting. But, I mean, look how crappy these lights look. I can't stand it. I'd rather just have them be flat, and at least I can see everything else. Um, but anyway medium and then once you get into ultra it's just like crazy disco disco ball effect and yeah i can't stand it like once i figured it out what was causing it and it was having volumetric because i was normally running them on medium or, or minimum um and i was just putting up with these flickering lights but now when i notice it in the rain it's like it's not even worth it to smooth out the lights anymore because this just ruins raining weather um, and, and it also looks weird. See this uh, banner that's meant to be like a big uh, projection advertisement like this? As far as I know, I don't think they're solid. They're projection. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think they're meant to be solid. And they look worse with this combination with the Aurora. And it's like there's a pillar going up there. So, yeah, anyway, that's one thing I found. If you've noticed this, that's what... Is causing it it's it's actually volumetric fog causing this bug uh, and i'm going to call it a bug because i don't think it should be in the game unless the aurora appears at night time and it's like a north pole type of weather effect but i couldn't get it to come up when it wasn't raining at night if it was clear skies and i could see the stars no effects no none of this would appear so there's that and from another angle you can also see the clarity of volumetric fog off you can still see glows. And here's the light beams that I was talking about in the background on this. I don't know if that's a dam or whatever it is. I can't remember where I took the screenshot. But basically, you can see light beams from distant lights, and they look good. To me, that looks good. If they were smaller and longer, 
they would fit perf they would look perfect under these lights and just like a much more subtle effect like obviously you don't have to have them as long as they are there in the background but having just a tiny glow effect would look more realistic uh, than having them shoot out like a big block or cone and now you can see low and ultra with the aurora so there is a highway down there. If you're wondering why these lights appear, there's a highway down there and it's showing those lights, but they look horrible. So, you know, whatever. Uh, and it was raining in all of them, just the visibility is better with it, with it off. And yeah, Ultra tries to bring a bit more clarity and fixes the positioning of the lights a little bit, but I still think they're set too high by whoever implemented them into the game. Well, the way the game's implemented them, it could have been an automatic setting where you can just get a light source and turn volumetric fog on. And it's just the way the game engine implements it. But then again, they're the ones that created the game engine. So whatever, um, they'll have to tweak this. But you can still see it looks really bad. So it would be nice if they had an option to turn off the fog but keep the haze for the people that like the haze effect. Or to just change the way these lights work. Really, they just got to change the coding, change the, the method. Because um, yeah, real life does not look like that. It's much more faint in rainy weather. And in non-rainy weather, you don't even have a glow. But this glow will appear in any type of weather anyway. So there you have it. Um, just sharing the comparison. You can decide for yourself. You even lose some effects. Like you can see the distant glow from certain areas. It's like a building or a light from somewhere in the background causing that glow. You can't see that in because you're getting the street lights and, and the haze covering it uh, in this one. But yeah, for me, it just looks bad. And then you're paying frame rate for that. You're paying like performance that could smooth out your gameplay. So that, that alone is enough of a reason to turn it off, really. And finally, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope that help you, helps you. And I'm going to show some videos to end this uh, just so that you can see what it looks like in movement. Because I didn't want to just talk and not actually show any gameplay. So this is off versus medium, because medium is the optimized setting that a lot of websites will recommend. So just wondering why I haven't really tested ultra and high. Um, it's just because medium is, is the majority of users are not running 3080s. Um, we're, we're running lower than that. And I think I fall into the mid to lower range user category. So this is what it looks like, off versus medium. And I'm not showing the FPS because it was within five FPS, the performance difference. It's just more the visuals, the clarity of the city, how good it looks at nighttime. If you love pollution and want a polluted city all the time with volumetrics on, just leave it default. Um, but if you like the clarity, if you think that clarity looks better and the distant buildings look better, then yeah, turn it off. And I, I haven't noticed any bugs. I haven't been playing for like three days with this setting. I only figured it out today. And I just, I, I basically started making this video to share with you guys and, and help everyone out. But if I do encounter any visual glitches caused by fog off, then I'll tell you. I'll let everyone know. But so far, so good. But yeah, you can see the flickering street lights with medium. And it's just for me, it's jarring. Like I'll be driving and I'll 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 be distracted by them, and it ruins my my time driving a little bit. And yeah, you can see how clear the buildings and city look. Even close up, buildings look clearer. Like the graphics for me look better. Uh, the texture, the texture and the color looks more detailed, while everything kind of looks hazy. Even close up as you pass it, when you when you like pause an image or pause a scene, the clarity is so much more detailed. Even this one's closer. So this, I was going a bit faster on this right side on medium settings. The fog is ruining the the color quality and the clarity even though I'm closer to the building and from further away I can see it looks sharper and as I get closer it just looks even better because it swaps into the higher quality textures but you can easily tell the difference one side is like fog turned off the contrast but I did not adjust any other setting I just turned the fog on and off with the config file I didn't change anything else and I was turning the fog setting itself up and down uh, when I had it enabled, but that was it. I didn't play with gamma or anything like that.
you can see here, like in the bridge, it kind of looks nice. It's like a nice glowy effect. It's not as bad as the street lights, but at the same time, an LED strip doesn't necessarily produce such a strong glow. It'll just, it, this can also be realistic. Um, just having like a line, a strip, because that's what they can look like in real life when it's not raining or anything. letting it catch up. But yeah, see the uh, flickering streetlights as it goes past? More when they're up ahead of you, you'll see it, like shimmering. And look at the background difference. So yeah, that's off, completely off, volumetric off versus medium, and I'll also do some full screen ones because it's a little bit hard to see some of the detail that's lost uh, when you turn the fog on. So this is off here. And I'll, I'll skip to this scene, there's like a street that you can really tell the difference with. Uh, when I make this turn up here, here. The buildings in the background and the clarity in the background when I get a little bit further up the street. It, it's atmospheric. That looks really good for me. Um, my personal preference is what I like. Um, that was a really dumb sentence. <laughs> That's my personal preference, um, but other users might prefer the other way. Now I'll show you medium at that same scene so you can just have a still image look. roughly the same spot. And is that the same spot? It's a bit further up there. But you can see the, the the glow and the street lights kind of all it almost looks better with the glow, but then the street lights just ruin the atmosphere for me because the cones are just unrealistic. And that's on that's on medium. So in full screen you can see it much clearer, like much better. And for me, it also helps the atmosphere of like certain objects, like the palm trees look better. Everything being a little bit crisper makes the lighting, changes the way the lighting looks. Like here it looks just hazy. Um, I don't know. It doesn't look as atmospheric, I, for lack of a better way to explain it. I like it when these look dark and there's not this weird volumetric fog covering the palm trees all the way down. It changes the look uh, drastically. And this looks more like nighttime scenery to me. Here on the right, with the palm trees. That looks really nice. And yeah, here you can see it's just kind of foggy, over. And the light, like the, the light coming from the palm tree kind of conflicts with the light coming from the street light that, that neither of them look good because of that. And finally, because just because we want to see what high looks like in full screen to see if the uh, movement of the street lights looks better, and you can see the beam, you can see it. Not as bad, but it's still doing it, and it's still appearing above. Like every light as you approach it, you see the shimmering, uh, and it's like a triple, like dot dot dot, where they've attached the light to the. I don't know. It just looks bad to me. And same haze, like not too different. But I mean, even just watching that for a little bit in full screen, and then coming back to the coming back to the non volumetric scene, the coloring and the detail just looks so much better. Wait for it to get up to where the uh, I was going to get past the loops video so up there 
It's almost like the fog was affecting the lighting. Yeah. Seems like it. It's not getting that effect here. I had the screen space on the same setting. Maybe it does. Maybe it does like volumetric fog on certain surfaces. Like, it does. Well, it, it's a full screen effect, uh, to be honest. It, it, it does put volumetric fog all over the background. That's why it looks so much clearer on this picture. So I guess that's what it's doing. Because uh, I was like looking at the sidewalk in particular. I'm like, why is it black here? And it's not like it, the lines look white and there's a glow. Could also be the speed I was driving was a little bit too fast, so it, it didn't stream the texture in quick enough uh, to change. Let's catch up. But yeah, see the ambience of the palm trees with volumetric off? For me, they look a fair bit better too. Because here, this looks kind of washed out uh, the, the right side. Or not, and this is on or not ultra high on high high volumetric fog. Much better ambience. Oh, it's not too bad, but yeah, the street lights in particular, those long ones. These ones don't look bad. See these are uh, four circular lights. They look pretty good. I, it would be nice if the beams cast by these lights were the same as the ones cast by the, the long street lights. But they're not. They're definitely different. As you can see here on the right, as we pass by them, it's definitely a different effect. Or the fact that there's more of them, I don't know. The, the glow from these lights just looks accurate, and the glow from the, the long lights doesn't. So maybe they just need to patch it, they'll just optimize it and fix it up so it looks nice and later on nobody will have to care about turning volumetric off, but for now at version 1.05, if the street lights are bothering you or the glow effect from from the sky is bothering you, like you can actually see the glow effect here in the background, the three pillars of light, uh, it's kind of like what happens when it's raining and if we find that same scene where we can see the saving sign. Where, where was that sign? Is it way further back? Further ahead. Where's the saving sign? It's before the turn. Oh, I'm stupid. I thought there was a building here that said saving. Um, the saving sign is an autosave. <laughs> um, I wasn't even looking clearly, I thought it was just appearing. It was more the, the lights in the background. Okay, see these lights here? There's pillars on because it's because it's up to high, and I'm not getting any night lights here. Any weird pillar effect that doesn't make sense. So these lights look better in a way because they're more crisp. Yeah, these there's moving light pillars here in the back. That's the same aurora that happens when it's raining. And I can see them here even with with the rain off. I, I didn't notice it the first time around. But yeah, you can see it. It's a strange effect. Yeah, there you can really see it. There's like a, a reddish glow on that 11 building. And let's see if we can spot it. Oh, there is a glow, but it's not a pillar. It's just a subtle... It's more accurate. It's around the building. Like So if there's a light coming from the other side of the earth somehow uh, to produce that glow, like a background glow. At least it's not a pillar effect. can't believe I thought a saving sign was a building. Anyway, uh, <laughs> maybe it's just a lack of sleep and testing, testing settings too much over the past few days. So there you go. There's another still image of this weird pillar glow that I pointed out with the rain. And you can also just see the clarity. So if you want these screenshots, just let me know. I'll, I'll upload them maybe on my Facebook page, Joyization. Uh, if you want to see the 3440 by 1440 screenshots up close. But otherwise, this should be plenty to, to help people make a decision and help a bunch of these out. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.